Hi there, my name is Richard Keller, and I'm going to demo for you um, a monetization uh, addition that I've made to a previous game in, in a previous class. Um, basically what that is is an interstitial ad that happens after every three game overs or wins. So a win counts towards a uh, game over, or towards a count to a... Uh, counting one towards the ad, um, and so does a lose. So what I'm doing here is real quickly is just losing. I could I could win, and I thought initially about changing the amount of times that you have to win depending on how, sorry about the focus, uh, depending on how long it takes to actually win, because it's real easy to lose. All you have to do is run off the platform, but winning can take a much greater amount of time so I thought about doing once every two wins and breaking it up a little bit or maybe some different sort of combination but basically I thought three wins or three uh, game overs will say win or lose um, is a good amount to space out the interstitial ads and here you'll just see it activating automatically pandas woo! and after a few seconds it gives you the ability to skip or it'll just run out. See, it ends in four, three, two, one in the bottom right corner. And there we go. Download for free, or you just hit the X there. And go back to the same you lose screen that we were at before. And then back to the main menu. Um, next, I'll show how, how uh, you can implement this in your Unity game, which is very, very simple and uh, very nice and easy to do. All right. So let's go over how I added these interstitial ads to my Unity game. Um, I added them to an Android tablet, and uh, we'll go over that. Um, but basically, I'm starting, here's my Unity project. And if I open Firefox, don't use Chrome or Safari for this if you're on OS X. I had trouble getting that working. But uh, go ahead and sign up, create a quick account, just links it to your email address, nothing scary. Uh, go ahead and log in. Here's where you see your earnings. I don't have any yet because I don't have any published games with Unity ads in them. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the documentation. There's downloads here, which we definitely will come back and visit. Uh, but let's talk about this integration guide from Unity. Basically, whoops, do not use this. As you can see, it is deprecated. I started to use this, and before reading that, I skipped over it. This is not the way you want to go. There is no prefab. Don't try to use it that way. Instead, go ahead and look at this. This is the code which you'll use, but the other steps I'll go over right now. You will, you don't really need to look at this. I'll go over everything, uh, but that's for you to look at if, if you were going to do this. So let's go to download, and uh, what you want to do here is go to Unity Package, and uh, open it straight in Unity. It's a really easy way to do it. And this Unity package is free, as you can see right there. Let's click Import. When you, I've done this already, but when you do it for the first time, there'll be a lot more options. You just want to have all of them checked. Go ahead and hit Import, and it'll do its thing. And close this store up here. You don't need that window anymore. And then you see I have plugins for Unity ads and uh, on Android and on iOS. Also, there will be something down here in the standard assets. Unity Ads folder, but that's all you need to do. Unity Ads is now installed in my project because of that step I took there just by downloading it. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, code real quick. All you really have to do, import Unity Engine advertisements, go ahead and initialize it here, check if it's supported, do some stuff, add, uh, you know, add, allow precache. Um, that's basically all you need to do. This ID is generated through my account here. It's really easy to add another one, but this is basically where that number comes from. Add it right there, it'll ask you three or four questions max that are really just Android or iOS. That caliber, it's not going to take long. Um, and that's the initialization. Uh, to actually display the ad when you're ready to do that, advertisement show. Again, really, really easy. Uh, this is enabling pause, and this section is here, this block is for you to do anything after the ad is closed, after the video is played, and the user closes out of, their, you know, hits the X button out of the ad, do whatever you want to do after that, 
here. That's what this block is for. And that's how I add it to the game. Again, it's really easy. Um, and thanks.